Welcome to the first Follow-Up Friday. Today I'm going to be addressing the fullerene tutorial I made a while back. And in that video we very quickly added in an icosphere and using the tissue add-on applied convert to dual mesh and we got an 80 vert icosphere that looked somewhat like a fullerene object. However, if you are going to call this Buckminster fullerene specifically, or a bucky ball, you may not be accurate there because Buckminster fullerene has 60 carbons. And if we were to put spheres on each of these points as carbons, we would have 80, not 60. So today, very quickly, we're going to show how you can get the actual 60 that you are after. Come to Edit, Preferences, and then scroll down in the Add-ons menu until you find Add Mesh Geodesic Domes. Click this box so the check mark is there, exit out, and then with Shift A, come down to Add Mesh Geodesic Dome. We are then going to open up this set of properties Keep everything on the default settings except Hedron, which we will change to Icosahedron, and Shape, which we will change from Tri to Hex. And just like that, there we go, we now have our actually accurate Buckminster Fullerene 60 carbon sphere. Go ahead and add in the modifiers that you may want. So a wireframe, just to bring that up a little bit, and a bevel to get that sort of smoother effect that we're looking for. Right click, Shade Smooth. And you can see now we would actually have something that you could accurately call a buckyball or a fullerene. As always, thanks for coming out. If this was helpful or clarifying at all, consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. Until next time, have yourself a great old day.